Hey guys, Glenn Murray. I am an affiliate marketer, but I also have these things. Do you know what these are? These are the little Google Home Nest mini things. Now, they can be really great, except when you get this kind of thing. Hey Google, play music. I can't reach the internet right now. Check your modem or router connection and try again. Yeah, that will drive you crazy because you start playing with it and it, you know you go online and you check out all the different ways to fix it and they're telling you to do this and to unplug it. One, one thing I found is to unplug it 10 times and let it reboot, 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 reboot. Did all this stuff, reboot, sound like a, a Canadian. Um, and, and then, so then you're resetting it. So how do you factory reset these guys? So first off, they're telling you to push this button on the bottom, like there's a little circle there, right? It's, some people say it's here or something. I don't know. I don't know where it is actually. It's like somewhere here. But the thing is, guess what? You can't, nothing happens unless you turn this thing off, the volume thing. The mic's off. Now you push it. Listen. You're about to complete. See, I don't want to factory reset it because I got it going. So if it's got little red dots on the front, it does, probably looks, doesn't look really red there. Um, so basically, this Google Home Nest has give, given us crazy trouble. I actually had another one I took back because I couldn't get it to reconnect. So turn the, the mic's back on. Turn the mic back on. Hey, Google, play music. I can't reach the internet right now. Check your modem or router connection and try again. So then if you try to do a whole reset, right, it'll say, and actually, let me try resetting it. Mm -hmm. It's unplugged. Giving it a couple time enough to like do the reset thing. It'll go through its whole thing. I know guys, this is getting, this is getting long and you really want to get to the goods. It's only two minutes. Give me a couple more, give me another minute. I'll show you. This is the fix that when I found it, I was like, Oh my word. So here's the deal with these Nest Minis. You can remove the device from your whole Google Home that I found. Um, you can rename them. But for some reason, the way that Google Home connects to them is through the actual serial number, I think, or the, the model number or whatever the, 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 the unique identifier of these things. It connects to it so it knows even if you go it's the girls room speaker and then you remove it and you say it's the living room speaker or you say oh it's the bathroom speaker whatever it is Google for some reason Google home remembers that it is there it's rebooting hey Google play some music hey Google play music I can't reach the internet right now See? Check your modem or router connection and try again. So I rebooted this. I redid. I did all the steps that I found. And I renamed it. I removed the device. And then, of course, like sometimes like you remove the device and it keeps finding it. And, and even like even though it's not connecting the Wi-Fi, it keeps finding this device. So I'm in my phone and I'm just like my wife is like, you need to take it back. Right. We got it from Costco. So it's cool. You can always take stuff back to Costco. Anyways, I'm in I'm in Google Home. And I'm looking through all the stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. And guys, if you're having this problem, I want you to go check this. I clicked on devices. And as you can see, oh, well, maybe you can't see it. No, it's not. It's, oh, there. No, you can't see it. The screen's, the screen's too bright. Here, let me see if I can dull the screen if it'll show it. Uh, there. See, it says, I even changed it to attic speaker. Look what it says there. Unpause. So at some point, the speaker was paused. We forgot about it. So the girls kept trying to get the speaker going, the speaker going, the speaker going. So then we're like, well, why isn't it connecting? It just won't connect. It kept, keeps saying, I can't find the internet. I can't find the internet. And I was looking in here and I was looking at I didn't look at devices. I was looking at like, I don't know if you know home, but you have all these Wi-Fi settings and like you can put bedtime and timers on like that. So I was looking through all that stuff, but I wasn't looking through the, um, so I wasn't look, looking through, through the, the, the actual on the device itself. 
So what happened is I'm so frustrated. I'm just like, and I'd, I'd set it up so many times. So I went into um, devices, which is now I can't find. There it is. So you click on Wi-Fi, click on devices, and then um, you unpause it. And lo and behold, hey, Google, play music. Hmm, something went wrong. Uh-oh. Try again in a few seconds. Let's make sure it's connected. Hey, Google, play music. Playing some music on Spotify. Oh, it's not. There we go. Hey, Google, stop. So that was the fix, guys. And I tried all these other fixes. So go and make sure that your device isn't paused because even if you remove it, rename it, remove it, rename it, rename it, put it in a different room or whatever you want, if it is paused, it will come back on. Google Home, for some reason, doesn't care what you call it. It knows what it is by its unique identifier. It comes back on, it'll just plug back in. And no matter what you've named it, if it was paused in your Google Home at some point, if that, that device was paused, it'll stay paused. So like, if, you, if you understand what I'm saying, make sure you put some comments in. Like, it's crazy. So I unpaused it and boom, it worked. Now I'm curious, like the, the other one that I took back, I'm like, what, had it been paused? Um, and I'm guilty of it. Once in a while, the girls keep turning the speaker on and like, stop turning it on and I'll hit pause. Most of the time I turn the pause back off. But sometimes you forget, you don't go in, you, you, it, it's been a day or two or a couple days and then you start like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? And you try resetting it, resetting it, hard resetting it, removing the device, adding the device, and all it is, guys, is it was paused. That's it. So I know this was seven minutes. Hopefully it didn't waste your time. It, on a side note, if you are looking to make money online, check out the links below. I'm an affiliate marketer. I make a full-time living online uh, promoting other people's products and getting paid for it. If you want to check it out, check it out. If you want to make some side money, check out some of the programs below. And I hope this has really helped you solve your Google Home Nest Mini, um, not communicating with the internet or not finding your network or whatever. It's something to do with your Google Home Nest Mini not working. Hopefully this has helped you and it will solve your problem like I found how it solved mine. Cheers, guys.